Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a boy named Jack. Jack lived with his mother in a small cottage. They were very poor and running out of food. Jack, we need money for food. I don't like that we have to do this, but I need you to take our cow to the market to sell her so we can have some money. Okay, Mom. Jack set off to the market. On his way, he met a merchant on the side of the road. Wow, that's a great looking cow. Can I buy her from you? Sure. How much can you give me? I have these magic beans. They will grow and grow, and you can eat beans for the rest of your life. Hmm, that sounds like a pretty good deal. Okay. Jack took the beans and gave his cow to the old man. When he got home, Jack's mother was furious. You sold our cow for a couple of beans? She angrily flung them into the grass. Jack went to sleep, and the next morning, he and his mother found an enormous beanstalk where the beans had been. How high do you think it goes? I'm going to find out. So Jack climbed and climbed. Once he was above the clouds, he found a gigantic castle. He walked in, and on the very tall dining room table, he saw a bag of shiny gold coins. He went to grab the coins, but suddenly he heard large footsteps. An enormous giant appeared. He began to sniff the air. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell human. The giant searched for Jack, but could not find him. I'm getting so sleepy from all this searching. I'll just take a quick nap and then I will find the small intruder and eat him. Jack crept out, grabbed the big bag of gold and ran. He climbed back down the beanstalk as fast as he could. Jack and his mother were now very rich but they spent their money too quickly and soon ran out of gold coins. Jack, could you please go back up the beanstalk and find some more gold? Sure, Mom. He climbed and climbed and made it to the castle. Jack climbed and climbed back up the beanstalk. He looked inside and saw the giant. He was at the table again, but this time he was holding a chicken that laid golden eggs. When Jack came in, the giant began to sniff the air. <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell human. Hmm, where could he be? Again, the giant searched and searched, but Jack stayed hidden. Eventually, the giant grew tired from all of his searching and fell asleep again. <sighs> Jack grabbed the chicken and climbed quickly down the beanstalk. I sure am lucky that giant gets tired so easily. Jack got home and showed his mom the chicken who laid the golden eggs. I'm so glad we have these golden eggs. We are rich again. What else do you think is up there? Jack was having fun hiding away from the mean old giant. So he told his mom he would go back up and see what else he could find. He climbed and climbed and made it to the castle. Once again, Jack peered into the castle. This time, he saw a golden harp playing a sweet tune. He entered the room and grabbed the harp, but when he did, the harp began to yell. Master, master, wake up! The giant leapt up and began to chase Jack all the way down the beanstalk. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Fee, fi, fo, fum. When Jack reached the bottom of the beanstalk, he took an axe and began to chop it down. The beanstalk finally came down with a terrible crash, and that was the end of the angry giant. No! Oh, 
Jack, I'm so sorry I made you climb up that beanstalk so many times. I had no idea it was so dangerous. It's all right, Mom. Jack and his mother kept the chicken who laid the golden eggs, and the harp played sweet music for them, and they lived happily ever after. Jack grabbed the chicken and climbed down. <laughs> I'm 